Hi everyone. This week I want to get back to painting skies. I love painting dramatic skies. So I thought since I hadn't done one in a while, I was going to show you how to do a very simple atmospheric sky. For this painting I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use um, Windsor & Newton neutral tint and burnt sienna and raw sienna. I'm going to first uh, spritz my paper all over. I'm going to start off with the raw sienna because I want the bottom area and maybe some area near the top near the top and I want the bottom area to be light and and this area is going to be dark a mixture of the uh, burnt sienna and neutral tint I want this to run down at a sort of angle here and I'm just going to keep spritzing it Because I'm adding so much water, I need to add more paint because it's going to dry very much lighter. I, I like to try to get my skies done in one layer because that way, I always found for me, it stays the freshest. And unless you're glazing, of course, and doing multiple layers of very thin glazes. Uh, which is different because that's th that way you can build up the sky. In this type of painting, I like to get it all done in the first try because otherwise it can look overworked. Nothing worse than an overworked sky. And let me go back and put some more raw sienna in this area here I'm actually mixing the color on the paper I like to do that because then you get a variation of color with this wet in wet style um, the way the colors run into each other And now that I've put so much water into this, I'm actually going to take my thirsty brush and pick some of it up. I just want to add some more streaks of burnt sienna into the mix. May it end up just adding a bit more raw sienna to the bottom area here. I kind of like what's happening there and it is, I know it's going to dry lighter but if, if I just keep adding paint now because the paper is so wet it's um, it's not going to work because you'll be wiping paint off and then putting paint on. So I'd rather just let it dry and maybe I will have to uh, do a second coat. So we'll just let this dry and then I'm going to create this little land, some land area in the bottom. When you're doing um, skyscapes, you really don't need to do much in the way of a land area because the subject is the sky and you want to concentrate on that and just to create interest in the painting uh, you can you can create something very simple um, as the foreground area so we let this dry and finish it off now that it's dry I can see a little area that bothers me uh, your eye is going to constantly go to this little dark horseshoe shaped 
area in the painting so I have to get rid of that. I want to spritz this area. I don't want to go over everything, I just want to create a thin layer of um, the sky mixture. Actually I want, I'm going to prop it up and I want it to go this way this time and just get rid of that horseshoe shaped area using the spritz bottle that gives you droplets um, we just I know is going to create some more texture here which um, which will be great mm, I kind of like that see I've got rid of that horseshoe area and we've got this lighter area here and I'm going to dry my brush off and just pick up this droplet here now I'm going to lay it flat and since this part's dry, I can work on the on the land area. So this is how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to take my hog's hair brush, which creates nice texture, and I'm going to take the same mixture of sky. Uh, let me do it here. Same mixture of sky and um, let's see. I'm just going to create a small area in the foreground here. So I actually want to take this back. I think I'll do it with my flat brush. And maybe I didn't want to have this hill quite so high. What I've decided I'm going to do here is I'm taking a natural sponge that's got tiny holes in it and just sort of scrunch it up into a rounded shape and I'm going to dip it in the um, in the two paints so I want to make sure that I get a mixture here of the burnt sienna and I just want to test it on a piece of paper first to make sure, there we are, that's, that's what I'm trying to create. I'm going to paint some trees. Um, I know we said we don't have to do much in the foreground, but I feel like um, I do need to do this. So I'm going to dip the sponge in and I want to create some just round tree shapes getting smaller and smaller towards the distance. didn't like the way I did that one but we'll fix that with the sponge we need five I like uneven numbers so I'm going to do it much smaller 
tree here. And I don't like the top of this one, so we're going to fix that. Needs some more texture. I like that. Now I just feel like there's there's too much um, of a light area here. I need to bring in a little dark. hard edges so I'm trying not to go into the trees too much but at the same time create some soft edges here needed uh, less of a light area. I can fix this here. this up a little bit. I, I had deliberately left a lot of light because often when I do a sky I end up not leaving enough and but I was able to fix it by adding this uh, bit more of the darker sky here. I think this all kind of works now and remember that I always list the materials I use below the video. Just click on show more and on your mobile the down arrow. So if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.